So in this pre lecture we asked we are asked to, to find uh, to calculate the electrostatic ratio of electrostatic and gravitational interaction forces between two electrons and between two protons. So let's say at first we take uh, the case of case first <coughs> electric force between two electrons. Okay, we must know that uh, the mass of one electron is around 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg, <coughs> and the charge of one electron is around 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. So, if we want to calculate the electric force for electrons, then we have to use the formula this one. In this case, uh, we are not uh, told about the distance between the two electrons, but uh, we need not worry about that because uh, in case of uh, gravitational force, the formula will be G M1 M2 by R square. So when we take the ratio, this will get cancelled out. So what we have to do is we have to find the ratio of K Q1 Q2 and G M1 M2 in case of electrons as well as in case of protons. Okay. <coughs> so we know the value of uh, K is 9 to 10 to the power 9 into charge of electron is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 90 to the square 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 into 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg to the square. <coughs> so if we solve it then we will get the value 4 into 10 to the power 42. Almost the ratio of uh, electric force to the gravitational force is of this order. While if we calculate the same thing for protons, for protons we are talking in this case. So in this case we will do the same thing. Electric force will remain same K Q1 Q2 by R square gravitational force G M1 M2 by R square. Here Q1 or Q2 are same 1.6 into 10 to the power <coughs> minus 19 coulomb, while M1 or M2 are both same 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg that is the mass of protein. So here if we take the ratio of Fe by Fg then we get to the same thing 9 into 10 to the power 9 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb square by 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 into uh, 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 27 kg square. So if we solve it, we will get the value of the order of 10 to the power 36. So these are the ratios in case of uh, in case of interaction between electrons, and uh, this is the case for the interaction between two protons. One more point I would like to mention here is that <coughs> the uh, Coulomb's law of interaction or that we call is Coulomb's law of electrostatic force is valid only for point charges. This is very only for point charges because uh, if we take uh, extended objects, if we take extended objects like this, and this is not a positive charge or point charge, 
then in this case if I try to find the electrostatic attractive or repulsive force between these two objects then due to mutual repulsion between these charges the distribution of these objects the charge distribution of these objects may get distorted that's why we say that Coulomb's law is valid only for point charges so that the distortion of charges can be neglected very easily. 